Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a black light hidden picture Manny. I'll be using Base Coat by Maxis for healthy strong nails. Today I'll be using LA Colors Color Craze Glow in Black Light Polish. And I'll be using Hollow Taco's One Coat Black. The stamping polish I'll be using is by Hit the Bottle, and it is as black as night. I'll be using Maniology's Sticky Base Coat to help the stamp images stick to the nail better. I'll be using my favorite stamper. It's the Ice Cube Stamper by Maniology, and it is nice and tacky, so it helps pick up the image really well. I'll be using stamping plates by Uber Chic Beauty, Halloween 03 and Halloween 04. Hi everyone. Today I have LA Colors Color Craze Gel Glow. It's not gel no polish. Anyway, I think it has a gel like shine or whatever. And it glows in black black light. So I saw, it was like a year or two ago, somebody was doing some kind of really cool ghost stamping. So it was black on black, so you couldn't tell what it was until it glowed. And it was a black light glow. I, I went to get it and then realized, oh, it's just black light. And I never did get the polish. But then the video started coming up again this year with, I believe it was Uber Chic Beauty's gel polish, and they were doing the same thing. So I thought I would head on over to Walmart and see if these were back in stock, and they were. So I picked up, I just picked up two colors, picked up black and pink, but we're going to work with black today. And I wanted to see if I could do it. Now, a lot went into testing this because you might think it's easy, but really, really, no, it really isn't. So let's get started and I'll show you all the test runs I did and explain the process. First, I painted a swatch stick with two coats of the, um, the LA Colors Glow in Black Light Polish. And then I stamped an image on it. Now this has not been top coated yet. So you can see a little bit of the imprint of the um, image. In black light, it is a really dark teal. And so on camera, it's really actually hard to see. What I did find out though, if you put the sticky base coat over the top, it makes the black light polish a lot lighter looking. So you can see the image a lot better than you can otherwise. When I was testing it before, I found out that different types of top coat didn't make it look really great and made it it, you just, it didn't look good. <laughs> anyway, so I did some more testing and then I realized, oh, I never use smud, I never use sticky base coat on my swatch sticks. And so I wanted to see how this would react with a black light polish. And it looked way better than without, obviously. Then what I had been doing before was top coat trials. So this over here is, um, it is, well, this one over here is the Maniology um, Smudge Free Top Coat. And I noticed that, that that brightened everything up really well and the ghost still looked pretty nice and dark. And this is the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat with my Maxis Finito over it. And it kind of, it looks, it looks a lot lighter. At least in person, it looks quite a bit lighter. There we go. So you can't see it. So anyways, it's just look fuzzy. So that one's out. Then I did some more testing. So we have the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. We have 
the this one is Maxis top coat. So it's it's just called Maxis top coat. It's not finito, and that one looks good. And then this one is out the door quick dry top coat. Usually out the door I use just on swatch sticks because it's super inexpensive. But these looked really, really good. Now taking a look at what they look like top coated and not top coated. So this one is not top coated and you can definitely see the raised images in there. But with all three of these, we've got the, um, the Maniology smudge free top coat in the middle. And then we've got Maxis over here and out the door over here. You see a little bit of the design. I'm not so sure if it would be that noticeable on your fingers. It might be. I'm not really sure. I think it might be if you had like an all black nail. So if you were trying to like mix and match, somebody could notice that these look a little different. So now I'm just going to do a couple of coats of this um, polish, this LA Colors polish. And the rest of my nails I'm just going to do one coat black because I'm not going to do any design on those, no stamping design on that. I'm going to put some sticky base coat over the LA Colors nails that I'm going to be stamping over. And this will help the stamped images stick to my nails better and also brighten up the, um, the black light glow of this polish. I'm going to use these cute little ghosts right here. And I'm going to use this little word boo here. I'm going to use just the boo part of this little boo Felicia word. And I'm going to use these cute little ghosts here. And those look pretty good. I'm going to stamp on my nails. Those might be kind of tricky because <laughs> you can't really see black over black that well. And these cute little ghosts over here. And I'll just clean up around the edges of my nails here and come back. I'm just going to go over the tops with um, my Maxis top coat. It's not finito. It's I think it's supposed to be like more of a gel-like shine top coat. I'm just going to use that since the, since it works better with um, this glow in black light polish. And I'm going to do my other nails as well. Actually, this looks pretty good. Maybe you can't tell. I can't tell which ones have the stamping on it and which ones don't from the other nails. Not like... Not like I did on the swatch sticks. I wonder if it was because they were clear swatch sticks. But anyways, these this looks great. I think it's really fun. So let's take a peek at it in the dark. I think this turned out super cute. I love it in black light. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And bye for now.